Hello and welcome everybody. This is DCO Snap on today. Today we're going to talk about water healing. Okay, now just before we get into this claim, uh, my loadout and everything like that, um, this is one uh, I came up with a few things. I heard people using double shields. I heard people still using the double ring. So I threw a couple other things in there and I went double shield and I went double ring. And this is just a loadout that I sort of figured out with help of a bunch of other people I've known. Okay, so there's a few people I'd, uh, that are helping me out with this one, so I'll give credit to those people. They know who they are. Um, Alright, so this is my healer. Um, I only have... Oh, right, wrong. Uh, no, we are on the right one. There we go. Okay, so on this healer, I only have 207 skill points. Now, I went super-powered, okay, instead of hybrid, okay. I put... 20 in the crit healing chance, I put 40 in the critical healing magnitude, and then I put the rest in restoration, which is 136. Now, the reason why we went super powered and, and not hybrid is because this is, you know, you want to get your power back and you want to get it fast to be able to heal. Now, mind you, I put this loadout on and I it, it's quite good. I mean, this is a very good super powered loadout. Okay, I mean, I fell in love with it. So, again, we go into our flight. We go straight on down through. I always get the breakouts. Um, weapon. I have hand blasters on this. Now, I'm just going to switch to bow, so we'll see how it goes when I get there. Um, Alright, so our loadout. Now we go from left to right. Now, you can switch up Tsunami Strikes and put it up where Soothing Mist is. I just put it over here so I don't screw up because I seem to constantly, because there's a couple clips you can go into this. Uh, so, Soothing Mist. Okay, that's my first one. Then I got Bubble. Then I got Tempest Guard. And then we've got Tsunami Strikes. we got Solace of the Sea. And then we got Riptide. Now, everybody knows what Riptide does. Once I pop Solace of the Sea down, I can pop Riptide. And then I can pop Solace of the Sea down again, so I get the double ring. Okay, so let's go back. Soothing Mist. Priority Heal. Covers you and your least healthiest group member with Soothing Water healing them. Okay. So if you got somebody who's got really low health, that's the one you pop, and it gives them good heals. All right, our bubble, it's a shield. Also surround up to three group members with a bubble that prevents incoming damage. Okay. And then we have Tempest Guard. Uh, shield. Summon a shield made of water to guard you from some incoming damage. Uh, now this one, it guards up to seven group members. Okay. Now the thing about this one is it doesn't last as long as bubble does. But... You got your, you know, you only get three other group members, this one, you get seven. Or you mean your eight. So you got four and eight, because it only put, automatically puts it on you. Now, our Tsunami Strike, okay, if you tap range twice, Tsunami Strike continues striking enemies with torrents of water dealing damage to them. Now, in Heal Roll, decreases the damage dealt, but heals the most damaged group member. Okay. Now, I don't know if it, when you do the double tap, I haven't really noticed it on the heels, but it, I think it might heal. I don't know. Don't hold me to, uh, to it. Um, like I said, this is just my loadout, something I've been dealing with. I, I think it's going to work good. Um, Solace of the Sea, okay. Create a pool of medical or medicinal water and aquatic life that heals you and your allies over time. And then Riptide, summon a powerful... Current of water that removes the cooldown of the previous water superpower you used. Okay. So that's where we're at with that. Now, like I said, guys, this is just one I use. You don't have to take it to heart. This isn't the best one. This is just the one I use. Now, the way I play this one, it's very simple. Okay. Usually, I'll go pop the bubble as soon as I go. Because, you know, everybody's going to get hit damage right away. It gives me time to come back. Put my doubles down. And then I can go... Pop my, uh, uh, Solus. Or not Solus, that's, uh, I don't remember what it is. And then I can go Tsunami. Now watch the Tsunami. You go boom, boom, boom. So it does. Three different moves. And then, what I try to do is while my ring's going... Okay, so I got my ring down here. And say my, both my shields are ready to go, okay? Right before you can watch your countdown and thing and everything like that. I try to always pop the shield, or maybe even both shields, 
right when, so I can get this down, give me a second, just cast it again. So I'm using the shield for sides the ring. So I mean, it's working that way. Now, like, now, like I said guys, this is just my loadout. Please don't bash it, I'm just giving you guys an idea, this is just a starting point for you guys, okay? So this is DCO snap on saying here, this is my water healing loadout. And don't forget to use your trinket, because everybody knows DCO snap on is horrible at not using them. Alright guys, so if you haven't hit the like button yet, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe, hit the notifications, so you know every time I put a video up. And this is DCO snap on saying, peace.